This is Roslyn Chapel in Scotland, a 15th century architectural masterpiece marvelled at for its intricate carvings and elaborate symbolism. Within the walls of this beautiful chapel there lies a musical secret. Sounds contained in patterns concealed in plain sight for over 550 years. Father and son team Stuart and Tommy Mitchell combined their knowledge of music, nature and architecture to decode a mystery so exquisitely executed it eluded some of the world's greatest musical minds. Like a harmonic message frozen in time, its 15th century designers produced a hauntingly beautiful piece of music and embedded it into Roslyn's carvings, sending humanity a message across the centuries. Stuart and Tommy Mitchell realised that the answer must lie within the 13 patterns carved onto the 213 cubes of the Lady Chapel. After a decade of research, they both finally discovered that all of the Roslyn patterns were found in one particular science, cymatics. Ernst Kladney was a German physicist and musician, sometimes known as the father of acoustics. Inspired by the work of Englishman Robert Hooke, who had made vibrations visible on a glass jar in 1680. Over a century later, around 1800, Kladney created a sand-strewn brass plate, which he played with a violin bow, making the plate sing and causing the sand to form beautiful patterns. From formlessness comes form. Just add sound. Several of Cladney's patterns bear a striking resemblance to the geometric patterns carved onto the Roslyn cubes. Cymatics is the visualisation of sound and vibration in particulate matter and liquids and is found in the art and design of cultures from around the world and across the centuries. And most significantly, it is found in China, dating back through 5,000 years of musical history. The early Chinese formulated their musical scales from the observation of patterns in nature which led to the formulation of the first pentatonic and chromatic scales. It is known that the co-designer of Roslyn Chapel's carvings, Sir Gilbert Hay, had travelled to far off Cathay, known today as China and he spent 14 years amassing great knowledge, knowledge that he returned with to Scotland to embed in stone at Roslyn Chapel. And to help prove this fact, what we see at the base of the apprentice pillar are five Chinese dragons, giving a strong reference to the Chinese connection to sound patterns. Gilbert was also a musician 
and one of the most learned scholars of his time. It seems only fitting that towards the end of his life he would be able to send this knowledge to us. Across the centuries, a veritable time capsule and stone. Roslyn Chapel contains the collected knowledge, beliefs and understandings of two men who felt it an important enough part of their life's work to record it in stone, that it may outlast the controlling powers in their time, allowing us to revel in its wonder and beauty today. <laughs>